Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. A couple of weeks ago I did a video on this um, little dust boot that uh, Nemo Lab sent to me uh, the same time they sent me this machine here and I did a test with that but just recently they sent me a different design of a dust boot and I thought it would be kind of a cool thing to uh, do a head-to-head -head test uh, just to see if one works better than the other or, you know, just how well they both perform. So I've got a little program set up. I'm going to use a uh, downtown genie bit, a down cut bit, a quarter inch, and I'm going to cut a four inch square pocket. And I'm going to cut two passes, one eighth inch deep per pass. And that should generate a lot of dust. And since it's a down cut, it's not going to be pulling it up. It's going to be shoving it down. So it should all pile up in here unless the, the vacuum works well to pull it up. Uh, and then I'll swap this out and we'll run the same test over here and just see how it works. So let's get started. Okay, let's have a look. We've got a little bit of fuzzies right back there. But that's the only place I see them. But there is absolutely no dust anywhere on here. So that little dust boot works really well. Now, keep in mind that with this being a pocket, you'll notice that this part of the brush is never extended past the material and when it does you'll lose kind of that seal so if you're parting out you probably will get a little bit of dust out here uh, but uh, that uh, that worked really nice nice clean pocket right there okay with this new dust shoe you can see that it's uh, going to be much easier to install and it's got the same super strong magnets that the uh, the other one had the brushes here are a little bit longer because this one uh, will raise up and down so you'll want to set this one so that maybe your bit sticking out just slightly depending on you know how many passes and how deep you're going to be going and stuff i probably have the bit sticking out uh, maybe an eighth of an inch on this one but this one is super easy to install. You can just bring this up here like this. Uh, I'm actually going to put this on here so that I can look under here and see that I've got the bit sticking out about an eighth of an inch. And then I'm just going to tighten this up. This also comes with a, uh, a little sleeve here that you can put inside this and run it with some of the smaller spindles. Uh, and I guess the big difference between this one and the other one, besides this one goes up and down with the, the spindle and the other one stays, stays down on the material, is, uh, you know, the other one may be Nemo Lab specific where it only works with a Nebel Labs machine because it m mounts here uh, probably be more difficult to uh, put on a different machine whereas this just works with any 65 millimeter router or spindle so you know this is going to be interchangeable from you know any other machines you might have as long as they have a 65 millimeter spindle so all right I've got that tightened up uh, got it hanging down about an eighth of an inch and let's get ready and fire this thing up and see how this one does as far as dust collection.
Okay, being the idiot that I am, you notice that I actually hit the button on the controller to start the router and start the program before I, and then when it started shooting dust everywhere, I thought, oh, crap, I didn't turn the vacuum on. So, in the essence of fairness, I'm going to get another scrap piece and we'll run this one again. So, let me get that set up and I'll bring you back. Okay, I've got it a new piece up here, and uh, there really wasn't that much dust on here. It only took a couple seconds to vacuum it up, but I couldn't be sure what was thrown out there before I turned the vacuum on, and maybe there was some afterwards. So we're going to run this test again. I'm going to turn the vacuum cleaner or the shop vac on first, and then kind of hit start, and we'll see if we get a different result. Here we go. I wanted to back this out a little bit so you can see it's still got probably the same amount of dust as it had the, when I did it the first time and forgot to turn the shop vac on first. This, uh, and you can see if I fluff these brushes, I don't know if you can see there's a little pile there. This one is not nearly as efficient, it seems, as the, uh, the other one. But the big difference is, you know, this one is much easier to adjust when you're changing things around and putting different length bits in and stuff like that. You've only got one screw back here to, uh, to deal with, whereas the other one, you've got two screws on each side. And it's, uh, to me, the other one's just a whole lot more finicky. So I guess, well, let me just, uh, let me just set the camera up where we can show both of these again. Okay, so... I don't know if that test really uh, proved anything or not, <laughs> but uh, one thing I have noticed, and I didn't even check it before, but if you pull the, the brush part off of this one, this one will fit on there as well. So you could run it a little higher up. That would probably help with some clearance issues. This one's just still just, to me, it's just a little more fiddly to have to, to work with. Um, although it does seem to do a much better job. Uh, and I'm wondering, I probably should do another test sometime and put this one with the longer brushes on this piece and see. Because if you were watching the video, you notice that when the vacuum came on, these all kind of pulled in a little bit because they're longer. And I think, this is just me thinking, uh, you know, like I said in the other video, I've always made my own dust shoes. But I guess because these machines are so small, they're trying to keep everything as small as possible. But I really think this would work bigger if it was a larger diameter and had brushes probably at least two or two and a half times as long as these. Because when they're that long, it... It's not as easy for them to get sucked up into the, the thing. And, the, you know, they, they keep a, a better seal, I think, uh, as you're cutting. And with it being so close here, it doesn't take much where, you know, it's not that hard for it to throw the chips out from underneath it. But uh, that's just my two cents worth, you know, take it or leave it. Um, but anyway, I hope you uh, maybe got something out of this video. Like I said, this one seems to work really good so far in the testing. There was hardly any dust at all in the pocket or um, really none outside. And this one made a lot more dust that it didn't capture, but it is way better as far as uh, ease of use and getting to adjust it. So I may play around with it. Who knows? Maybe I'll even... Uh, take a scrap piece of plywood like this and cut my own with those longer brushes and uh, see if that works. But uh, anyway, I think uh, Nemo Labs has both of these available on their website. Uh, I think this one is available, this, this newest one. Um, but anyway, if you want to check them out, there'll be some links down below. 
And uh, if you got anything out of this video, please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I've got some other cool things coming up here in the next uh, couple of weeks. So you want to be on the lookout for those. And in the meantime, thank you very much for watching.